Hi, I'm Luciano and welcome to the Adventures of Lollipop Man. In today's episode of Blender for Maya Animator, we're gonna talk about a few functions that are embedded in Blender and are really good for animate, like clipping, selection, and copy pasting and inverted pose. Stuff like this that we usually get from Animbot. So let's show you. So here's uh, my crappy run cycle, um, still a work in progress. But the important part is that this guy was rigged with Rigify. Tutorial in the description below, so you can rig your own characters with Rigify as well. Here we go. Because it was created with Rigify, left and right I will define and whatever. And so there's a few things I want to talk to you about. First of all, the mirror option, which is live mirror. What do I mean by live? Let's just reset this guy a little bit. I'm gonna turn off the, the auto keyframing. If you want to learn how to properly put keyframes, go check out my video on, on effective keyframing. I'm gonna turn on this guy and I'm gonna turn off the peaks because we don't need them. And so for instance, I was saying we have a live mirroring and that means that if I turn on this little guy here, you can see the moment I start moving it, then the other side starts copying it right away. And this is really cool. Like when you're posing stuff, a lot of the times you want to start with something similar and then you do a tiny bit of a difference. If like, if, if, if it's gesturing like this, right? So that's really cool. But there's an even cooler way. It's for instance, we're in this situation where the character is not in a completely symmetrical pose. But for instance, we, we decide that we want the feet to go in a little bit. And so we can turn the mirror on and yeah, it will pop the other foot towards the same place. But if we go to the options and use relative mirror, now I can just move this inside and it will do exactly the same on the other pose based on the fact that they already have the starting pose. That's very powerful. This is not something that you'll use in every single move, but when it's not there, you miss it. <laughs> So the second one I want to talk about is copy paste inverted. So I can grab this character, like select the arm and the leg and then shift G layer because they're in the same layers and then copy that pose, move around, paste. And as you can see, I can paste it here. And obviously I'm not setting a keyframe, so it can always go back to what it was, but I get copy paste pose really quickly. But also instead of doing that, I want to paste it in the other foot here uh, in this pose, for instance, I wanna paste it to that foot and that arm, and I'm going to go control shift V and then it pastes flipped. So both of those functions are here in pose and then you get copy, paste and paste flipped. Really handy for creating cycles and other things. So yeah, that's how I created this guy. Cool. The other function that I really like in Nanibot, we're lucky to have the same as well. You can go here and flip active and flip active will select the opposite controllers that you have selected. The problem is, first of all, the hotkey is very, very long and very far away from where we want it. Where was it again? Flip select. Yeah. So it's very hard to get to it because it's control shift M and it's in all the other way in the keyboard. And then the second thing is that the extend function also is great, but it's not great that it's a function that you need to turn on after the fact. So I want them to be assigned either to two hotkeys or to a pie menu where I do one and the other one and one and the other one. But in this case, because I don't know how to do a pie menu, I'm going to make another hotkey. And so let me show you, this is rather easy. I'm going to go to preferences. So I get the key map bindings here. I'm just going to go to 3D view, armature, and then armature global. And I'm going to look for it. And it's here. It's called flip active selected bone. I'm going to copy this little code here. And instead of pasting it in armature, um, I want to paste it in pose. I'm going to do a little tweak for it. So I'm just going to go to the last one because it doesn't exist here. I think it should, it should, but, oh, there we go. That's, that's the one. So that guy, I'm just going to change it to F. As you can see, it's grayed out the extent. I'm just going to turn it on and turn it off again. So now it's actively always off. And then I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go to add new, paste it and then actually F and then shift control and then with extend on. So you save your preferences and now flip shift F shift control F flips and adds the this to the selection. 
which is pretty good. So I can, for instance, select all these guys and then I want to actually handle all of these ones and the ones on the other side. Shift Control F will get me the rest of them. Or if I just grab this controller, this controller, this controller, this controller, this controller, Shift F will just flip and select me the opposite ones. Yep. So you ready to animate now? You have no more excuses to avoid Blender. So get onto it. Show me the cool animations that you're doing. Remember to like and subscribe and see me in the next video.